Welcome back to Whole Brain Coffee. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Lucky Jack Cold Brew. Now, Lucky Jack is a company that prides itself on being a premium brand. Now, Surrey, why is that? Well, at $4 a bottle, it better be pretty premium. Mm -hmm. right? So according to Lucky Jack, their coffee is completely organic. Oh. They don't use any kind of herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, really no harmful chemicals in the production process. They also source their coffee from small farms, hand selected by their coffee experts. Uh, and everything, even the glass bottles that they choose so that it doesn't leak any kind of chemicals into your coffee. I guess everything about it is premium and that's why it's $4 a bottle. Yes, so again, as you mentioned, that is a lofty price tag for a bottle. But of this size. For, of that size, but does the quality and the flavor and the premium nature match up? And not only to mention, uh, Lucky Jack actually suggests enjoying this bottle of cold brew in a glass. Now, I think there are two reasons for this. One, it's very aesthetically pleasing, but then two, with it being a nitro cold brew, you allow for the release of all that gas to bubble up from the coffee and give it a nice, smooth texture and taste. Should give it a beautiful, foamy head. Beautiful, foamy head indeed. So, what do you say we crack one open? Let's Actually, get, let's crack them both open. Let's get poppin'. Brewin'? Poppin', poppin'. Poppin'. Let's, get, let's poppin'. get poppin'. Let's get poppin'. All right. Uh, well, we have a very aesthetically pleasing tab here. It is that. And it's old school nitro. Which you know, I'm excited cool. to give this a little. You ready? Ready? Oh. You go first. We'll do okay. Okay. Time. Thank you for being a gentleman. Ooh. That is a satisfying Ooh. sound. A satisfying. See that little bit of uh, gas will be released. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, doesn't that just make you want some? You know, I hope Lucky Jack is lucky enough to get a high score from us. I know. Seriously, because I would like to so get the score. So far, I'm impressed. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, man. All right. Wait, let's, uh, brap. Yeah, yeah. They recommend doing a hard pour. So just all of it? All of it, In baby. the glass. All of it, baby. All right. Let's spill some. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we had a little bit of an accident on set. Yeah, we did. And, um, okay, there it is. There is a little bit of the, or actually a good bit of the gases coming up from the coffee. And ah, as we can Look see at that, you can see the gas being released. Nice foam on top. Good on you, Lucky Jack. Good on you so far. Good on you so far. How about the smell test? Let's see. Let's see. Smells, smells? like coffee. Pretty damn good. Yeah. You doing cheers? Oh, yeah. Dude, cheers. cheers, man. Cheers. Come on, man. Come on. All right. Cheers, How impolite. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. You know, I can definitely tell hmm. that their water has gone through the process of reverse osmosis. It's definitely a more clean nitro cold brew it's than I'm clean. used to. It's, it's very, very clean. clean. Hmm. It's quite tasty. It's quite complex, really. It's really chocolatey. It's nutty. I would say in terms of the flavor, it's not a unique flavor. It's nothing out of the box, nothing that's going to take your breath away, but it is a good flavor. And really that's what you're looking for with a cup of coffee. And particularly one that you buy from the grocery store is you're looking for good flavor. You don't want burnt, you don't want ashy, you don't want awful. Now, this isn't my favorite cup slash glass I've had. Um, but that being said, it's it's not bad. It's actually it's actually decent. I would, you know, if I were just kind of at the store, you know, wandering about and I saw this, I would pick one up and try it every now and then as a good cup of coffee. I I don't quite know. I don't quite know personally if I could justify the four dollar price tag for a bottle of this. You know what? I'm gonna have to slightly disagree on your assessment. Ah, okay. I think okay. this is I think it lives up to the hype. You think so? I think it does. Mm. Now, is it as good as a freshly made, homemade, 
cold brew made to your personal liking and specifications? Of course not, right? This comes out of a bottle. They say it's in small batches, but it's a commercial product. Of course, it's not in a small batch. Right. right? Small you know, batch is, you know, a pot in your fridge, right? That's a small batch. But hey, overall, man, I think honestly, it's amazing. It's the, wow. My, yep. So with that being said, on the whole brain scale, which is the, hmm. the bitter, harsh critic. Oh yeah. What would you give it? I would give it a very solid and a very well-deserved seven Ooh. point Ooh. zero three. It's not bad. I would actually not give it terribly far off from yours. I'd say it would be for the kind of, I would even say clarity the coffee has, surprisingly for being a store-bought coffee. Um, I would have to give it about a 6.75 on the whole brain scale. You know, it smells a little bit like a... Reminds me of hot dogs for some reason. Oh, is that? Oh. I don't know if I'm getting what you're getting well, there. like a good hot dog, you know? It kind of reminds me a little bit of like some of the uh, like darker beers. You can taste like a brown ale almost, like kind of either the oh, like scent that. or just the foam. I don't know what it is, but it just kind of reminds me of something along those lines. And I should have said this before, but the flavor profile, there's a lot of caramel in here, right? Yeah, there's some caramel for sure. Some cedar, right? Like some kind of a burnt fireplace, but like a little hint of that. Like right? nice and roasty, yeah. So it's roasty. caramel, like, nutty, chocolatey. It's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, typical medium roast uh, to medium dark roast palette. I'd recommend it, definitely above average, um, definitely better than a lot of store-bought coffees I've tried. And so I would say give this one a try if you're in the market for it, you can't really go wrong. Good you know, flavor, good texture, and it's a lot of fun to look at. Dare I say, it's the best store-bought coffee that I've had. I would not disagree. Well, with that being said, hope you enjoyed this. Go out and get yourself a little bit of Lucky Jack. Yeah, go ahead uh, and do it. Tell us what you think about it. And until then, keep using your whole brain.